To create or edit a dashboard, you need to be in the Dashboard section. Select Dashboards from the left-hand menu panel. In the top right-hand corner, there are some options for editing and modifying your dashboard. There is a pen to edit the existing dashboard. There is a plus to add a new dashboard. There is a bin to delete the existing dashboard. To edit the existing dashboard, click on the Edit pen. Select Add Widget. There are various real-time monitors that you can use. Employee State, Callback Request, QNow, Agent State or Web Browser. To view your Agent State, select the Agent State option. An Agent State box will open. Select the cogwheel on the far right of the Agent State box. Select the agents that you want to monitor. You may need to scroll down and select Show More to show additional agents. Notice your agents may or may not be associated with different media types, for example voice, email, chats, SMS and open media. You can individually select an agent and their media type. You can use the filter to search for a particular agent. You can use the checkboxes at the very top to select all agents. Select Apply. Select Save. The Agent State Monitor will show you the presence and availability of all the agents that you are monitoring. Agents which are on ACD are handling incoming queue calls. Agents which are idle are ready and available for an incoming interaction. Agents that are on non-ACD are either receiving a call direct to themselves or making an outbound call. Agents which are unavailable are on a make busy code or in the work timer status. Agents which are not present are absent from all of their queues. Agents which are offline are currently logged out of the system. To edit a dashboard, click on the Edit pen in the top right hand corner. To edit a particular real-time monitor, select the cogwheel on the far right of the monitor. Add or remove the agents as required. Press Apply. Press Save. Add a QNow monitor to your dashboard, click on the Edit pen in the top right hand corner. Select Add Widget. Select the QNow monitor. A QNow box will open. Select the Settings button to the far right of the QNow box. Select the queue you want to monitor from the list available to you. You can use the search field to enter in a queue name. If you have a queue group you want to monitor, ensure that the group has already been created in the back end of the system. Speak to your IT system administrator if it hasn't. Select the arrow drop down for queue. Choose the queue group option. A list of available queue groups will appear for you to choose from. Select the appropriate queue group. Select apply when you have finished. Select save. The queue now monitor will show you what is happening in queue right at this moment. Service level looks at your service level objective and monitors the percentage of calls handled within a set period of time. Contacts waiting shows how many interactions are waiting in that particular queue. This is related to the longest waiting time. If there are multiple interactions waiting, the longest waiting timer will show the time of the interaction that has been waiting the longest. Requeued shows the number of calls that have been missed by the agents. Where you see idle, ACD, non-ACD and unavailable, this shows the number of agents that are in each particular status. The number of calls offered to the queue are shown in the top right hand corner. If you hover over Offered, it will show you the number of calls that have been abandoned, that being the number of calls where the caller has hung up. Handled shows the number of calls that have been answered. Interflowed shows the number of calls that have been taken out of the queue and presented elsewhere. This is generally calls that have been directed to voicemail or callback, or alternatively diverted elsewhere.